Hey there, this is Shayna Supple, and I'm making this video in conjunction with my Thingiverse post for my wind turbine design. So, if you're wanting to build this, I did have a few tips for you and a few things that you guys are going to need to know. So, first of all, I highly advise that you print the turbine blades hollow. It's going to reduce the amount of print time and also reduce the amount of weight. So, if you do so, you're going to find that it's a bit difficult to glue the components together. All I've done here is using Gorilla Glue made a seam by putting some Gorilla Glue on my finger then running it around the outer edge. So now as for the hub, the hub is printed in two parts and that's just that there's going to be no support while printing it. So there are three different holes in the hub and that's where you guys are going to uh, stick the base of the turbine blades uh, into the hub. And so now I've made them a bit larger than they need to be on purpose. Reason being that you guys can put tape on the outer edge of the base of the turbine blades uh, and then stick them in. And in doing so, you guys are going to get a much better fit uh, than just having it be bare. And so I have two more notes here. Uh, you guys are going to have to modify the hub to uh, for your motor. And so mine has a stem and then a nut on the uh, other end of it and so I was able to secure it to the bottom half of the hub. Okay and then uh, last note is that you guys are going to have to figure out um, how you're going to mount this and so that can be quite difficult but if you have a longer motor then you guys are going to want to make some sort of adapter for that motor and then figure out how you're going to uh, affix it to whatever you're going to affix it to and so that's quite vague but uh, unfortunately that's all I can give you because there are a few different factors here and so you're just going to have to consider all those and then figure out what you want to do. Uh, a few different possibilities is you can stick it on a post and if you stick it on a the post then uh, what you're going to want to do is you know use zip ties or something like that to secure it because 3D printing a fixture while working with a post is going to be rather difficult. And then if you want to do something like this, like this is where I'm putting it, is on my balcony. Uh, so I'm just going to have, you know, something which is going to wrap around it. Uh, and then it will likely just be dangling. So, that's all. Uh, oh, and my apologies, there's one more thing. Figure out your battery setup. Um, if you want to use a capacitor or a battery. But all you got to do is just, you know, suppose I wanted to use a capacitor. Then I'm just going to take my two leads, run them down to wherever the uh, battery bank is going to be located, and then just connect them to my uh, capacitor. So now that's it. Uh, I wish you guys the best of luck in building this, and I'll see you guys next time.